everyone, I'm Blair Colvin, the Technical Service Manager for FMC covering Alabama, Georgia, and North Florida. And today I have with me Louie Harris, who is our Precision Ag intern working with Arc Farm Intelligence at FMC. And today Louie and I are standing in a cotton field in Alabama and we're talking a little bit about the cotton bollworm. So many people are familiar with this famous pest in cotton and historically it was a major pest to try to control causing really bad yield losses. But luckily with our newer cotton varieties and transgenic technology, we're able to control it a lot with the variety. However, in recent years, we've had some issues with escapes with this pest, especially in two gene cotton, but we're even seeing it sometimes in three gene cotton. So it's something that's really important to monitor for to see if it actually is in your field. As the name suggests, cotton bollworms do impact and damage the bowls, which is gonna directly impact your yield. So if you do monitor your fields and find that you do have cotton bollworm at damaging enough levels to cause a yield loss, it may require an insecticide spray. So fortunately, we have a great insecticide called Vanacore with the active Renaxapir that's gonna provide really long residual and be very minimal on the other beneficial insects in your field. So it's a great option for cotton bollworm if you find yourself in that situation. But again, this isn't always a pest we have to treat for, but it is something we wanna make sure we always monitor for. And so this summer we are working with Auburn University and FMC's Precision Ag Team to try to improve the monitoring of the cotton bollworm. Louie, would you mind telling me a little bit about the work you've been doing with cotton bollworm this summer? Yes, Blair. Uh, we've been wor working with Dr. Scott Graham at Auburn University to develop a new Delta Trap. As you can see here, this is the new Smart Delta Trap. Uh, the reason it is smart is it has a camera placed on here. It's powered by solar, which takes pictures daily of the sticky sheets that catches the moths. Okay, so how am I able to see the images that the camera takes of the moths? Yeah, so the trap sends it to the ARC Farm Intelligent application, which allows you to see it anywhere in the world. So I just pull up on my phone the ARC Farm app and I can see for all my fields the images of bollworms if they're there. Yes, you can. That's so convenient so I don't have to take the time to drive out, check a trap. I can be hanging out at the beach and see if I have bollworms in the field. I like the sound of that. So how many traps do you all have out this summer? So currently we have about 60 traps in the state of Alabama from north to south. Okay, great. I'm really excited to see what comes of this research from this project this summer and how it can help growers better monitor cotton bollworm. Mm -hmm.